expected value is basically like if we had to guess how many times something was going to happen. Really, what we'd expect to see, how many times we'll expect it to happen. And our formula for it is the probability of the event times the number of trials that we're going to look at. And that can be simplified as p times n. And sometimes people write it as np just because that's more alphabetical. But it doesn't matter the order, p times n or n times p. So what you have to do is basically find the probability, and remember that's basically the number that you want or that you're interested in out of the total possible. So if you were to flip a coin ten times, what is the expected number of heads you would get? If you think about a coin, what are our outcomes? We've got heads or tails, and if it's a fair coin, we'd expect it to happen as a head half the time and as a tail the other half of the time. So if we flip a coin ten times, the probability of getting a head is going to be one half times ten, and that gets us five heads. So here we're looking for values, like again, if I flip a coin ten times, I expect to get five heads, but I know that in reality, if I did this as an experiment, I'm probably not going to get exactly five heads. But this is back to theory that in a perfect world, if I flipped a coin ten times, I should get heads five times, because it's a half probability. So if we take a look at another example, if we spin the spinner over here 120 times, what is going to be the number of times you'd expect to get red, blue, or red and yellow? So I need to figure out here my probabilities. So maybe I can write them as we go along. So first thing I need to know is my total number of possibilities. I've got one, two, three, four, five, six total outcomes that I, my spinner can land on. I know it's four different colors, but I'm saying it's broken up into sections of six, so six different outcomes. Now, out of those six, the number of reds, the ones I want or the desired there, is going to be two out of six. So two out of six times 120. is going to be 40, so I'd expect to get 40 red as a result. The number of blues, well that's 1 out of 6, so I have a 1 out of 6 chance out of 120. So again, 1 out of 6 is my probability times 120 trials. That's going to get me 20 blue that I would expect to come up. Now the probability of getting a red or a yellow, well how many red or yellows are in here? Because that's what I'm looking for, that's what I want. So I've got one, two, three, four that are either red or yellow. So for again, again, for instance here, maybe I win if I get a red or I win if I get yellow. I don't care which it is, as long as it's one of them. And I've got four possible options there. So four out of six times 120. And that should get us 80 red or yellow. So again, expected value is what we might expect to see if we did something a bunch of times. Find your probability and times it by the number of trials you're looking for. And again, this is for a perfect world. So an expectation is not a promise, but just it should be somewhere around here. This is what it would be if it was perfect, but I know that in reality it might be a little bit different.